Hey everyone, it's Taylor with Iron Edge Group. Have you ever felt like your computer is running a little bit slower than it typically does, but you're not really too sure why? Well, in this video, I've got that issue and we're going to take a little bit of a look into what's going on with my computer and what I can do to just quickly fix it. So in this environment, we're working in Windows 10, but the process will be the same for Windows 11. So what we'll do is we'll take our mouse and we'll go down and right click on the taskbar and we're going to look at for task manager. So once we open task manager, we want to go over to our performance tab here. And this is where we can look at all of the hardware components in our computer and how they're working. So I'm taking a general look here at my CPU, which is only at 40%. So I've got 60% there. Nothing wrong with that. Now my memory is getting a little bit, a little close to being full. I've still got about four gigs left, which is it's an okay amount. If I need to, you know, run another program like Word or Excel, it's going to have no problem with that or whatever. But if I want to run something massive like AutoCAD or Photoshop that does a lot of um, a lot of processing in the background, it's definitely going to come close to filling that up. But as of now, everything's okay. Now next we'll look at the disk. This is going to be our hard drive disk and the file transfers that's happening. Now since I'm not doing anything, just showing the video, it's very low and there's really nothing going wrong with that. So the other two are the Wi-Fi, which is just your Wi-Fi speeds. So that's not what we're looking for. Everything looks good there. And the GPU, this is the um, graphics card and how much memory it has. It's similar to RAM as in it can open up so many programs and be operating and everything looks good here. Now the one thing that I notice is that my uptime is 13 days and one hour. So I think that that's um, most likely the reason why my computer is taking so long to do um, just typical processing. So all we're going to do is we're going to come down to the start menu, click the start menu, and then we've got our power options here, and we're going to choose restart. Now what we want to choose restart for is because it actually clears out the CPU cache and it refreshes all of the RAM as well. So nothing gets stuck in there and it's one of the better options to choose if you're just trying to quickly fix something that's going wrong with your computer as a one-off. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't yet or hit the like button and we appreciate any sort of feedback. Leave a comment below or ask us if you have any questions and we'll try to address that in the next video. Thank you.